Okay, so let's do some, uh, make a random acceleration. And before I do that, I just want to delete this C, and then we're not using velocity right now. Uh, so let's uh, delete that as well. Uh, because we're using uh, down here, you see velocity, we're using this velocity to make our mover. So uh, we're just, let's just clean up the area just a little bit. I'm going to leave that. Well, I guess I'll just delete that out. Okay, so we made a uh, this vector random uh, function and put it into our uh, vector methods library. So let's copy that. And uh, instead of our uh, acceleration being constant, like it is now, we want to change it. And we do that inside update. Self dot acceleration equals uh, vector. I'll just paste that from up above in uh, the vector method uh, vector random. And it's going to have a length of whatever we put in here. So we could put in two or uh, three, and it would. You know, it would be it move around in a random uh, at a random angles, and it would always be that length. Uh, let's just pass in a random though. Let's do a random a uniform in between. Let's say 0.5 and two. Let's try that, or let's say 0.5. Yeah, let's go two. So let's try that and see if it works. Okay, execution completed successfully. Let's then, oops. Put it in motion. Okay, so it's moving around randomly. And you can tell that it's getting faster and faster. We'll fix that in a future uh, a future lecture, but uh, before we go, let's change this. Uh, let's have it start at zero, zero, zero. So yeah, think about think about this and uh, read uh, Schiffman's chapter on that and.